Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we have a cool subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our cool subject for today? Our cool subject for today is kind of a deep one, guys, so you may want to listen up. Okay, our subject for today is selling. Should I buy life insurance on my kids? What do you say? I said, should you buy life insurance on your children? Yeah, I know it sounds a little morbid. I'm going to talk about it because, see, I'm a salesperson, and I bought insurance on my own kid, and I'm going to tell you what. It's a reason uh, that I needed to do it was because of peace of mind. Uh, we live in a society today where people um, do not value other people as much as they used to. long time ago, you know, people valued life a little bit more so, and in this uh, life that we live today, people, they really don't. And so if you love your children, uh, you may want to consider going ahead and buying some type of life insurance. Uh, my son is 18 years old. I bought insurance on myself because I wanted to leave a legacy. I also wanted to uh, pay off the mortgage and make sure that my son and my, my family uh, will be taken care of when I pass away. And what brought this to uh, to your mind? Um, as far as why am I talking about this? Because I'm a real salesperson, guys. I work in the field every day. I have a real estate license, an insurance license, a mortgage license. I also have a notary license. I sell mortgage protection. I sell burial protection, life insurance. And now I'm getting ready to pick up another job opportunity where I can work in a place where I can sell uh, kitchens kitchen. I love it. I love anything that's got to do with decorating. So all the cabinetry and everything from the top down, I'll be selling also. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of jobs. People are like, how do you do that? I, I just do. I, I'm a single guy. I don't have, I got nothing better to do than to talk to people and help people buy stuff and kind of figure out stuff. And, you know, I enjoy it. Selling to me is a lot of fun. I've been doing it since the eighties, uh, in one form of capacity. So I'm going to tell you the good the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And recently I started selling uh, life insurance for FFL. And I started finding out that a lot of people were really worried about their children. They, they liked that they buy insurance on themselves, but they didn't know that they could buy actual insurance on their children. You know, all the way up to 18 is a really nice age to get your children's insurance. And the reason why is because it's so cheap, guys, and it lasts the children for the rest of their life. And they even offer policies now where you can pay it off in 10 years. And then that'll take care of the customer, or should I say the child, for the rest of their life and it's so inexpensive I'm, I'm just saying if you've been putting it off um, you might not want to now even if your kids are grown you still have the capability to you know buy insurance on them they just got to know about it okay and but right now it's very easy I've just been seeing a lot of things you know we had the coronavirus uh, that came through and killed a lot of innocent people all over the world and it's a sad situation. So people are, are, are a little bit less reluctant to talk about insurance now. Not everybody wants to because they, you know, they, they got to figure a way to fit it in their budget. But it's not as expensive as you might think. You know, it's a lot of people, they smoke. Some people uh, buy things. Uh, they drink coffee. They, they, they drink alcohol or whatever. People have vices and they watch TV and internet and all this stuff. So what we have to do as salespeople is we've got to show to the customer that this is a benefit and not something that it's a pain to have to deal with. I have right now, I've got five different policies. I've got three of them on myself and two on my son. And the reason why I do that is because when I first started selling insurance, I didn't have that much money. And so I, 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 I dipped my toe in the water. If you're out there selling life insurance and you ain't have, you don't have any insurance on you, 
shame on you. You need to get some because people, they see that if you have skin in the game, that they're more and likely going to say, hey, you know, if, he, if they believe in it, you know, maybe it is good to get it. And so how can you be a person who convinces others if you're not convinced? And I believe in insurance. It's like, you know, you buy a house, you have to have insurance. If you don't, it burns down. Holy cow, what do you do? And see, here's the thing. People don't think about life insurance like this. Everybody dies. I was just looking at the YouTube channel, and I was looking at all the people that are stars who have passed within the last couple of years. Holy cow. Every age group, from very little to, to their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, you can't get out of this world alive. Like uh, some people say, you can't take a U-Haul behind the hearse. You'll never see that. It just don't work. You know, uh, it just doesn't happen. And, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I, I talk about things, a lot of things that other salespeople don't talk about because I believe that you need to know. And if you're not a salesperson and you're watching this and you're asking yourself, uh, should I buy life insurance? I believe you should. And here's the reason why. When you buy it when you're younger, it's very affordable. When you get to be in your 50s and 60s, it gets to be more expensive. And it doesn't get cheaper. And there's a lot of things that cause people not to be able to buy insurance on themselves. Or should I say, they, they can buy insurance, but they have to buy this thing called a graded policy. A graded policy means that they can get some insurance, but it can take up to two, sometimes three or four years, depending on the company that you sign up with that gives you the capability to have life insurance. So if you got a $20,000 policy and it takes two years for it to go into a full effect, your family will get paid. They'll get paid every dime that you pay for it. But and they'll also get an additional 10% if you die within the first couple of years. Now, if you were to buy, die in an accident, some of these policies will go ahead and pay for you in advance. They'll go ahead and pay the death benefit, the whole amount. Now, if you were to pass away in the first two years, you get what you get, everything you put in it plus 10%. Or if you live past the first two years, uh, you're able to get the full value. And I highly believe in it because I had that policy on me. My very first one was about a $5,000 policy. I uh, was feeling kind of weird, you know, a while back. And the next thing I know... Um, I go to the doctors and they prescribe some medicine. Then they said, no, you're fine. But when they check out the MIB, which is the medical thing where they're going to check out what type of medications and stuff that you're on, and they're going to look. Even if your children are on medications, they'll know what they're taking, and they will say you can get a, a level policy, which means it starts day one. Everything, if you die tomorrow, everything's good. If it's not, it's going to be a graded policy, and it's going to take a couple of years. But it's better to have something in play than nothing at all. And I highly believe in it. And now I just bought a newer insurance policy. And again, it's more expensive. I'm 56, almost 57 now years young. And I pay, uh, uh, I, I got a policy for an additional 20,000. Now remember, when you're younger, you can get this thing called term insurance. My son is 18. Now he's got uh, quite a bit of insurance on him because at 18 years old, some of these companies will go up to 250,000, 500,000, a million, and it's based on your your age. And uh, if you ain't got no, if you're not taking no medicine and you're in good health, they're going to insure you. And sometimes, and I got my son's insured for up to thirty years at a locked in price for like thirty eight bucks. Now that's like holy cow, thirty eight bucks. That ain't nothing. And the amount of insurance that he got was really really good. Because see, he's going to eventually marry somebody. And I'm going to make sure that if something were to happen to him during that time, that they're going to be taken care of. And also, uh, for myself, we bought him a I bought him a policy when he was younger of twenty five thousand dollars because a, a, a funeral can run you about ten thousand dollars. You can get a, or fifteen or whatever. It could be a lot more. Then you can also buy. You know, <clears throat> some people are cremated. And they could cost you about three grand to four to five thousand dollars, depending on what you're doing. 
and I wanted to make sure that if 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 everything something happens that he was taken care of, and I wanted to get as much as I possibly could at, at a young age. I just and it's going to be his policy. It's paid for, almost paid for. So what I'm sharing with you is, guys, if you have children, it's okay. You know, it's not morbid to buy insurance on your kids. Kids are dying everywhere. We've got people coming from everywhere in our country. We don't know who everybody is, and we don't know if today's going to be the last day that we live. We live in a, a world today, like I said earlier, people don't care about each other like they used to, and some people are just mean. They're just not really nice people, and they hurt people. And you could get in a car accident. You know, the biggest thing that can happen for most kids if they die, generally when they're younger, it's going to be, you know, from an accident. And accidents do happen. They happen all the time. And I did some research to, to see, you know, um, it, it's just a, such a, a good deal for a family to have a little bit of peace of mind. They're paying less than 30 bucks a month, you know, for really good amounts of insurance. And it's like, if you're drinking or smoking or any kind of thing like that, it's so affordable. It's like, man, if you drink a soda, a couple of sodas a week, you pretty much paid for your kid's policy. If you smoke one or two packs of cigarettes, you paid for your kid's policy. If you go to the gym, you've paid for your kid's policy. If you give tithes, you've paid for your kid's policy. And so what I'm sharing with you is really important that you take hold of this. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. Yeah, I sell life insurance, but I believe in it because I know that, you know, when I die, my son's not going to have to worry about nothing. He's going to be able to transition with some money. He's going to be able to sell the houses. He's going to be able to do whatever he wants. If he wants to buy a new car, that's up to him. If he wants to put 20% down on a home because he's wanting to purchase that home, I, he's covered by me. So if something were to happen to him, I'm going to make sure that he's taken good care of. And I'm also going to make sure that if he's married, his children will be taken good care of. Because I thought about it. A lot of parents don't. A lot. I ran into a lady yesterday. She ain't, She. ain't. I, I knocked on her door. She had just moved in. I saw the van out there and I set an appointment with her. And she said nobody's ever talked to her. She was only 34 years old. Nobody's ever talked to her about getting the insurance. So I'm talking to you about, yeah, it's okay to get life insurance. It's okay to get life insurance on your children. It's not morbid. It's something that needs to be done. Because I'm going to guarantee you if your child were to pass away, and it happens, it happens more than you know. And with the world we are, with all these different viruses and stuff that's going on, we got measles back in the world. We got all these new diseases and stuff that were dead are now back. So what I'm sharing with you is if something happens, yeah, it'll be tragic. It'll be a terrible, terrible day. But I've watched families have to beg and borrow and get online and tell people, hey, can you help me? I need to bury my kid. It ain't really good. And they don't feel good. They got to go back. So right now, if you can afford it, and I'm telling you what, even people who are on Social Security, I talk to them. They got a little bit of money. They can spend 20 bucks. They can spend $30. They can spend $10. And at least get something that will bury their child. And they don't have to worry about it. And it's paid for. I mean, as long as they're paying on it, it's paid for the rest of the child's life. And the prices are locked in. You can get a policy for 10 bucks on a child that's about five or six years old for about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. But see, you get to be 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, you're starting to pay almost a hundred bucks. So it's a hell of a deal. So do me a favor, guys, go out there and sell something. But if you ain't asking for the order, because you have to ask people, because <clears throat> a lot of times when I'm talking to customers, generally I go there to talk to the person that I'm going to be offering our <clears throat> insurance services for. But see, I look at their kids and I'm thinking, what would happen? And I'm thinking this in my mind. They've got policies where you can add the kids on to it. But see, you need to actually get a real insurance policy on your child. That way it's locked in for life. The price is locked in. 
and they don't ha you don't have to worry about coming out of pocket 10 years from now because you didn't get it and you're going damn man i could have saved a whole lot of money oh yeah so do me a favor go out there and sell your life insurance if you're selling life insurance i hope you like this give me a thumbs up please share my videos and please subscribe i got hundreds of them i just had to share this particular one selling should i buy a life insurance policy on my kid now you know if you don't that's up to you but if something happens eventually everybody dies it's better to go ahead and pay for it very cheaply when you're young or you should not wait so long when you get older and then you go damn that's all i can get all right